Hello, hello and welcome. Welcome to my YouTube channel PharmaVan. In today's video, I'll be discussing about PubSit, means pre-use post stylization integrity testing of a filter. So for stylization process, for the filter product stylization, for the fluid stylization, we need to use filter. And that as per the UGMP NX1, once you stylize the filter, you have to perform the filter integrity test prior to use. That testing is called PubSit, means pre-use post stylization integrity testing. This testing PubSit word is mentioned in UGMP NX1 revised in year 2022 but this requirement was also there in older version in 2008 as well and in 1998 as well where it mentioned that filters should be integrity tested post stylization prior to use but the word pop sheet was popped up in guideline revised in year 2022 where it specifically mentions our pop sheet which means pre-use post stylization integrity testing so why pre-use post stylization integrity testing is required? Let's understand. Filter may have some flaws because of the handling from the manufacturer hand, because of the transportation, because of the handling at the manufacturing site, during the installation in the filter, filtration assembly, during installation in the filters and housing. And it can also be impacted by the filter stylization process. To detect such flaw, this guideline states that we should perform pre-use post and integrity test so any flow into the filter, any damage can be detected. Why it has to be detected prior to use? Because, because of any product property, like once we use it for the filtration, then any minor damage, any minor leak, any minor pore can be blocked by the particles from the product can be blocked by the product if it's viscous, can be blocked by any other reason, and it can be masked. So because of that masking of the flow, the filter which was non-integral and had damage prior to use will pass into the post stylization, post uses integrity testing. So because of this reason, the guideline requires to perform the filter integrity test prior to use post stylization. The guideline also states to perform the filter integrity after use once we use is once you, we use for the filter for the fluid uh, filtration the product filtration liquid product filtration but we have to perform pre-use as well the integrity test methods such as bubble point water intrusion diffusive flow or pressure hold can be used for the product filter stylization purpose based on the filtration property whether it's hydrophobic or hydrophilic but guideline also states that in certain cases it will not be possible to perform the filter integrity test prior to use post stylization for an example is given when we are we have to perform the filtration of very small amount of liquids then such testing it will not be possible so in such cases the guideline tells that we should perform risk assessment and what should be considered in the risk assessment is also mentioned there it tells that we have to evaluate our stylization process use our own experience for example we are performing the filter integrity testing or stylization for since years and we know that our stylization process is not giving any impact our sip process is not impacting the filter properties is not damaging the filter we have tons of experience with us we know our products we know our processes then that can be a beneficial factor that can be a risk assessment factor which can be used when we are not able to perform pop sheet second is to know how the filter is manufactured like what are the controls at the filter manufacturer how they are stylizing the filter, how they are transporting the filter, how they are packaging the filter. We have to perform that assessment. So if you are not very sure, then we have to perform that assessment that how filter is manufactured, what are the controls at the filter manufacturer's end, what they are, what process they are using for the stylization so it's not getting damaged, how they are packaging and how they are transporting. That's the second factor we have to consider while performing the risk assessment. 
Third thing is we have to see what is our product properties. What is our product? What is the particle load into the product and how it can impact the filter? How product can eventually mask the damage? If there is a, a problem in the filter and with my product if there are a lot of particle load and if it's possible to mask or damage the filter or mask the damage not the damage but the mask the damage so that it will pass after we have used the filter then we should know our product properties whether it is possible that product can mask the or chalk the filter so that or cover the minor damage so that uh, in the post integrity testing the filter will pass we should also know the filtering integrity values with water and with the product. So we should be using the specific values when we are performing the integrity prior to use and after filtering the product. Final point of the risk assessment is about what are the steps we have applied to reduce the pre-bio burden or pre-contamination like processes such as pre-filtration where we are removing the initial particulate load from the solution so that on the final filter the bio burden load and particle load is very very less so that it will not impact the filter and we can we will get the finally we will get that the sterile good product so this is over an overall overview of pup seat why it is required why the guideline is required then what are the impact what is the importance and how we should be doing it and if not then what should be our risk assessment factors